I think a lot of people in the fragrance community share the same opinion when it comes to John Barbados fragrances. Them joints smell good, but they just don't last. They don't perform well. And that's kind of like that issue that we've all had with the Varvados brand. To be honest with you, I have maybe one Varvados fragrance because of that reason. Like, I love the scents, but they just don't last. But that was my initial perception. I'm going to break out of that box because now I'm at a point where I don't need a fragrance to last seven months for it to be amazing. I just want something that smells fire, unique, and very me. So I'm breaking out into that shell trying a Varvados blindly, which is Artisan Blue. Don't know anything about it, but we will unbox this joint and see if it's lit for the summertime. I'm summoning the warm weather. Let's roll my music so we can check out if this Varvados is lit for the summer. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A, Varvados. There's a few Varvadoses out there that are nice, man. I really appreciate the Varvados brands. Their leathers are on point. Clothing wise, I was a real big fan back in the day. Fragrance wise, I still share the fan vibes, but it's been a while. I'm gonna be honest with you that I haven't smelled a Varvados fragrance that I've truly enjoyed. There's just a lot of other stuff out there that I've been getting my nose on and I've been neglecting Varvados, but I don't have any Varvado Freshy on deck yet. I have seen this in a couple of thumbnails and possibly on people's list, I don't remember, but Artisan Blue is definitely a funky blue looking presentation, which honestly, I, I feel that it's probably gonna smell good. I, I don't think it's gonna be a bad scent. I just can't speak on performance on this first impression, so I might let this one dry down completely and see. I, although I feel it's not gonna be an accurate representation, but we shall see. Artisan Blue, I haven't looked up any notes on this fragrance. I just wanna smell it, see if it's something that I feel it's gonna vibe out in the hot weather or what. Cool presentation, definitely feeling that. I've always liked the Varvados presentations, but let's see what this scent profile is smelling like. Very nice. Fun, blue aquatic, salty, citric, tart, very airy and comforting. Very clean, fresh out of the shower, fabric softener type of vibe. Easy, easy, easy to wear. Nothing complicated about this scent profile. Although it's fun and playful, it does teeter-totter on the basic-y kind of meh kind of scent profile. Kind of more of a gym style, warm weather fragrance, shorts, t-shirt, nothing more. I don't feel that this is a dressy, classy style fragrance at all. It's just very a chill, beachy style vibe scent profile. That's fun, it's easy. A lot of freshies, are, I mean, it's rare you're gonna be that a freshies bad or socks or whatever. Like. This is kind of what I expected. Try it on skin, see what kind of vibrant energy I'm getting off of it. Doesn't blow my doors off, you can obviously tell that. I'm not getting goose pimples here, like we're, we're flatlining, but it's okay. It's better than okay. It's very soapy body washes, fresh out of the shower type vibes. It's very just overly clean and kind of, mm, there's something green in here that's coming off of my skin. Not mint, could be mint. Citrus, mint, slightly powdery, but very shower fresh fabric, fabric softener vibes. Um, let's look up the notes. Oh, okay, so it's basil, bergamot, chayote, lavender, bitter orange, palmarosa, geranium, orange blossom, iris, clary sage, pine, cedar, pistachio, tamarisk, and patchouli. Yeah, green, yes. Shower fresh, yes. Blue aquatic y, yup. Citrus, yes. And green vibes. And slight herbal vibes. On a scale of one to 10, this Varvados has zero offensive quality. Very easy to wear. Gym style fragrance. I think it'd definitely be fun after the gym, like after a nice hot shower. I think it'll smell fantastic. But on some regular grown and sexy type vibes, I'm gonna give it like a five and quarter ball spray. Yeah, not a bad scent profile at all, just not 
like blowing me away either. It's a cheapy style fragrance, so buy it for the lowest you possibly can buy. If you're looking for something non-offensive, very easy to wear, super duper casual, like wearing Jesus slippers and a cut off white tee with holes in it. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know what your absolute favorite John Barbados fragrance is, and I will pick that up. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. <laughs>